Hey there. Welcome. Got a couple more bokers. You know, I had seen in a Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog that Boker was going to be discontinuing several classic uh, American slip joint patterns from its Sullivan made lineup. And in looking at the 2021 catalog, both the US and German versions, uh, I don't see them in there. And I did see the Boker CEO allude to that in an interview he did with Blade HQ, I think it was, online. So I wanted to get a couple of those knives before they all got gone. And in hunting a couple down, I did notice that several of the major online knife retailers are out of those knives or running very low on them. Just, just saying. Uh, so um, back to the catalog. I'm without a paper catalog to show you, but I did lift some images from the website, from the catalog. And uh, here's the cover of the 2021 U.S. catalog. And this is cool. You see the tank on the front. That's an old Sherman World War II tank. Uh, Boker, a couple years ago, took a German Leopard tank, which are still in production in Germany, or still in service, rather. And they cut a section out of the barrel and had Chad Nichols in Mississippi forge it into Damascus steel and they used it in the blades of some knives and those were extremely popular the leopard Damascus knives so this year they're doing the same thing with a Sherman tank but uh, that was a lot more difficult for them because Sherman tanks are no longer in service I mean that's a World War II tank they've been out of service for years but they were able to find some Sherman tank parts in a museum I think in Virginia and so they made this arrangement to, to get those parts and sent them to Chad Nichols and he made Damascus steel out of them. Now they're putting them in knives and uh, here's a close-up of the knife. I don't know much about it. I haven't really read it. Um, but that's a cool way to get a piece of um, you know US military history, World War II history right there in your knife. Uh, I, I don't know much about it as I said but I can see that it costs $479 I do know that for $32.50 shipped in my door, I have this uh, Boker USA official military World War II knife, which I think is pretty cool and uh, a whole lot cheaper. So in the catalog, what you're going to see are um, trappers, Stockman, um, Barlow's, but they only have one blade. And you're not going to see any two-bladed trappers or four-bladed Congress knives or two-bladed copperheads or two-bladed Barlow's or three-bladed Stockman's, any of those classic American um, knives except the uh, Chinese-made ones that you see here. So th this is the page showing the uh, what they call their traditional series, and these are the trappers. And these are either made in China with German parts, or they're made in Germany with Chinese-made parts. I don't know. I think I, honestly, I just think they're made in China. Um, you know, their price point would suggest that they are much much uh, more affordable. But the way you can distinguish those is for now they have that tree brand, simple tree brand blade etch. They have a gold shield instead of a silver one or a black one now uh, that comes from Zoligan. Instead of saying Zoligan on the shield it just says Germany. You won't see Zoligan on the any of the blade etches. I'm sorry blade stamps, tank stamps. And if you look closely at the jigging pattern you can see it's not random at all. It's very um, machine-like. So those are your hybrid knives made from China. They're no longer making those uh, you know, completely in the Zoligan factory. What they are making though, one quick thing about the uh, catalog, uh, are some new models and patterns. And I, they just know me so well. I mean, look at this knife here with a cap lifter. I just have to have that knife. They're calling that simply the uh, Boker Swell End Jack. And as you can see there, it's got a screwdriver cap lifter on the main blade end. And uh, it does have a bolster and a cap. It comes in a synthetic buffalo horn at the top. I think they're kind of moving away from 
animal products. I know they still have some knives that have uh, bone covers out of Zoligan. They, of course, still have the stag, but they seem to be moving away, at least from the buffalo horn. Uh, Thuya wood there in the middle, and I think the bottom one is a uh, curly green birch. But anyway, those knives right there are anywhere from $269 to $289 retail, which I just think is nuts. Okay, let's look at some knives. What did I get? Well, I got a trapper in gorgeous stag. And as I've said before, I don't think anybody does stag better than Boker. I mean, when you look at, like that picture of their camp knife here, that's what you're going to get, something that stunning. I, I bought one of those one time in Stag, and when it came, it was actually much better than that. It had a lot more character. But actually, the action of the knife had some problems and um, some lazy snap or no snap on a couple of the tools, so I had to send it back, unfortunately. I ended up with the um, modern camp knife in desert ironwood, which I'm very pleased with. But I wanted some more Stag, so I got this. I got a great price on it. And I was very pleased when it came. As you can see, I think it's just really well done. There's the pile side. And uh, here's your badge, your silver badge for a Zoligan made knife. Done a good job with the pins or spun and recessed there, mostly out of the uh, bark of the stag. Good job fitting them. Everything's flush and nice, pretty tight. I'd say it's typical Boker quality, meaning it's very good, very, very good, but not perfect. You can see the blade setting is pretty good. The clip here favors the inside there a little bit, but it's not rubbing or anything. The stag is not too thick and it's very evenly matched and it's visually matched too. It's just really great. Still has a lot of character. Here's the clip point blade. Um, no half stops on these. Now, th this does come in uh, carbon. This is uh, C75 carbon. And you can see here it has the reverse etch. Tree brand classic a reverse etch on it, that frosted reverse etch. And I just love it. I mean, I know some people don't like that billboarding or whatever you call it on their blades, but I just think that is really classy and flashy in a kind of understated way. It came extremely sharp. I mean, razor sharp with a good point. No complaints there at all. Um, Tank stamp is H. Boker underneath and Co. and underneath that, Soligan. With the tree symbol to the left and nothing on the back. Did a good job with those bolsters too. They're nice and symmetrical. I don't remember the specs of this knife offhand. Um, I'll take a stab and if I'm wrong I'll correct on the screen. But I think four and a quarter and overall length closed. I think the blades are three and three quarters, and the knife weighs about four ounces. Being a trapper, here's the secondary blade. It's a spay. Classic trapper blade setup. Also has an excellent edge on it. No tank stamps. The only other Boker that I have in stag right now is this copper liner and it's also gorgeous really well done but as you can see it has an entirely different look um, it's much more like a white bone you know with the toasted stag here in the middle the trapper has a much more antique look to it I really kind of prefer this I like those kind of warm tones and a little bit of that gold and yellow um, However, they, they both look nice in their, in their own way. And what else did I get? Well, I got one more, and it's also a trapper. <laughs> Again, trapper's not my most favorite pattern in the world. Uh, matter of fact, my collection is very short on trappers. But the price on these was just too good to pass up. 
And again, I wanted to get them before they're all gone. I do think they're kind of a piece of history. So this is what Boker calls the washboard, washboard brown bone. And I just think it's great. It's a really interesting jigging pattern. They start off with a thicker piece of bone than you typically see. And then they cut these deep diagonal grooves. And it's a little reminiscent, I think, of ram's horn or something. But the coloring is wonderful. It's lighter here at the ends, almost looks like wood. And uh, kind of lighter at the top of the ridges, like it's pocket worn. And I'm sure it will pocket wear that way. But again, just a really good job on the fit and finish, really good fitment of the scales and the pins are just really well done. Uh, you know, everything is very flush, pretty tight. A little gapping here, but I mean, honestly, pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. They just did a really good job with these scales. And the blade setup is the same. Although I did notice on this one, whoever sharpened it, uh, I think they put a little bit of a recurve in it. So I'm just super pleased with those knives. I just think they're really pretty. So there's a couple of new bokers that I have, a couple of older ones that I have, a really old one. Uh, unofficial Scout approves. Hope you do too. Thanks for watching and have fun collecting.